Welcome to Pharmacam Insights. In this video, we will see how to do calibration of UV spectrophotometer with stepwise parameters and how to do them in details. So watch video till the end. Let's get started. For UV calibration, we perform four parameters. So first is control of wavelength. Second is control of absorbance. Third is limit of stray light. Fourth is resolution power. Let us see first parameter control of wavelength. In this, first we prepare 4% weight by volume holmium perchlorate solution. For preparation, we weigh 1 gram of holmium oxide and transfer to 25 ml volumetric flux. We dissolve this 1 gram holmium oxide in 1.4 molar perchloric acid solution and then we make up with the same 1.4 molar perchloric acid solution. Second step is select the method file control of wavelength in the instrument. Then auto zero with 1.4 molar perchloric acid solution has blank. After that scan the holmium perchlorate solution of 4% from 200 to 600 nanometer range. Verify the wavelength using absorption maxima of holmium perchlorate solution at this four wavelengths. First wavelength is 241.15 nanometer and the tolerance limit for this wavelength is 240.15 to 242.15 nanometer. Second wavelength is 287.15 nanometer with tolerance limit 286.15 to 288.15 nanometer. Third wavelength is 361.5 nanometer with tolerance limit 360.5 to 362.5 nanometer. And the final wavelength 536.3 nanometer with tolerance limit 533.30 to 539.30 nanometer. For first three wavelengths, the tolerance limit is plus minus one nanometer and for the fourth wavelength that is 536.3 nanometer, the tolerance limit is plus minus three nanometer. If the absorption comes within the tolerance limit, the test is passed and if it comes beyond the tolerance limit, the test will be failed. Let's move on to next parameter, control of absorbance. In this, first we dry a quantity of potassium dichromate to constant weight at 130 degrees Celsius. Then we prepare two solutions of potassium dichromate. First is solution A. In this, we base 60 mg of potassium dichromate and transfer to 1000 ml volumetric flux. Then we Dissolve this 60 mg of K2Cr2O7 with 0.005 molar S2SO4 solution and make up to volume with the same 0.005 molar S2SO4 solution. Then we prepare solution B. In this, we weigh 60 mg of K2Cr2O7 and transfer in 100 ml volumetric flux and dissolve this in 0.005 molar S2SO4 solution and make up to volume with the same. After that select method file control of absorbance in the instrument. Then we do auto zero using 0.005 molar S2SO4 solution has blank. Then we measure the absorption of solution A and solution B. For solution A, absorbance is measured at 235, 257, 313 and 350 nanometer and for solution B, it is measured at 430 nanometer. The table below gives the absorption for each wavelength mentioned above with its tolerance limit. For wavelength 235 nanometer, absorbance is 124.5 with tolerance limit 122.9 to 126.2. For wavelength 257, absorbance is 144.0 with 
with tolerance limit 142.8 to 145.7 for wavelength 330 nanometer absorbance is 48.6 with tolerance limit 47.0 to 50.3 for wavelength 350 nanometer absorbance is 106.6 with tolerance limit 104.9 to 108.2 and for solution b that is wavelength 430 nanometer absorbance is 15.9 with tolerance limit 15.7 to 16.1 if the absorbance comes within the tolerance limit then the test of control of absorbance is passed and beyond the tolerance limit it is failed third parameter is limit of stray light in this we prepared 1.2 percent kcl weight by volume solution for this we weigh 1.2 gram of kcl and dissolve in 100 ml water select the method file limit of stray light in the instrument after selecting the file press reference button for baseline correction check the absorption of above solution using water has a blank at 200 nanometer absorption should be greater than 2.0 if it is greater than 2.0 then the limit of stray light test is passed and less than 2.0 absorbance then the test will be failed final parameter resolution power in this we prepare 0.02% volume by volume solution of toluene in action let us see the procedure dilute 2 ml of toluene to 100 ml with action then further dilute 1 ml of above solution to 100 ml with hexane so this will be your 0.02 percent solution of toluene in action next step is select the method file resolution power in the instrument then measure the absorbance of the solution using hexane as a blank first measure 269 nanometer maxima then 266 nanometer minima the ratio of absorbance maxima by minima should be greater than 1.5 if it is greater than 1.5 the test will be passed below 1.5 it is failed so this are all the parameters of PV calibration. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe my videos and also show your support in the comment section so I will get motivated to create more videos of this kind. Bye.